What's going on everybody? Pure Salvation here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys some map analysis on Afghan. This is going to be my first of the series on map breakdowns. This is sort of a trial run to see how this will turn out and to see if you guys like it. So here it goes. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So right off the bat we're going to be talking about Afghan. And this is definitely one of my favorite maps just because of its openness and it's just its feel. So right now you are looking at a gorgeous overhead of Afghan the map. And I think this was made by Infinity Ward. But I'm not entirely sure so I don't know who to give the credit to. Anyways, moving on. So right now we are looking at, of course, the overhead of the map. Now you can see this has pretty much everything you need to know about the map. Pretty much where the spawn points are where all the possible headquarters might be, the domination flags, the sabotage bomb sites, capture the flag bomb sites, search and destroy bomb sites, pretty much it's got it all. But I'm going to be focusing more on domination and sort of team deathmatch. So let's start off with some opening routes. So as you can see on the green spawn point nearest to A domination, I have written the sort of spawn routes or the beginning routes that you can take right off the bat to get around the map easier so as you can see I put that in light green now the darker green is the areas where you might come into some trouble and you might have to endure some confrontations now as you can see I did not draw a uh, 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 sorry um, as you can see I did not draw a route through the bunker instead I made the route around it or actually to the edges of it now what that does is That'll keep you away from most of the sites of the enemies, pretty much from the bunkers of both sections, as you can see, that overlooked sort of the plane crashed AC-130. Now, by doing this, this gives you a pretty much a safer route to take uh, to get from Domination A to B. Now, the dark green circle right in front of the bunker with the crashed AC-130 that's pretty much where you might come across some trouble where the opening routes for the other team might start coming through now if you're able to get through that or if there's no trouble at all then your main problem is just getting through the poppy fields in order to get to B now the two dark green circles you see near the shack and the spawn point closest to the other team is pretty much the most dangerous part of this entire operation now you see the dark green circle near the shack overlooking the bunker which most of your teammates would probably go through is pretty much the reason why you don't want to go through there the other team will definitely be waiting for all of those silly people who just just don't even know or don't think about the game as much or in depth as they should be those people will be waiting for them and your teammates are going to be running through the bunkers getting shot and getting unneeded deaths so while your teammates are pretty much taking it for the team, <laughs> uh, it makes it easier for you to cut through the poppy fields and flank the people around the shack or pretty much clear out the poppy fields. Now the other spawn route that we see is going through the B demolition area through the rocks and going to C from A domination to C domination. Now you see the dark green circle with the entrance of C domination for the other team that's your dangerous point right there and the most vulnerable now if you can sort of maneuver your way like with a smoke or whatever then that is definitely a good thing to do because as you can see right here usually the other team is probably gonna split up and go usually either domination B and domination C now since they are closer to both C and B they're gonna be getting to those flags a lot faster so what you should be doing is once you get to the rocks area next to the cave you should start taking your time making sure that you've got a good line of sight now if you go in there sprinting it's gonna take you a little bit longer for you to get a hold of yourself when you are confronted by the other team unless you have lightweight pro now the disadvantage of using lightweight pro is then you don't get to use stopping power so it's pretty much a lose-lose situation both ways so the way to counter that is to take it slowly once you get to the rocks or the entrance where the purplish whitish circle is that's when you should definitely start taking it slow so if you're able to clear it out that way then C should be yours 
Now, if the situation is flipped and you're on the other's team spawn, I've drawn some beginning routes for you guys to take uh, in dark purple. And the vulnerable slash dangerous spots that you might encounter is pretty much purplish whitish circles. Now, as you can see, it is much easier to get to each flag going from that spawn point area. Now, I've driven pretty much drawn out the basic routes as the beginning routes that most people usually take. The beginning part of domination on Afghan is pretty much favored in the team of the red spawn, which is usually like Spetsnaz or something like that. So usually what you'll come across if you're going through the poppy fields on your way to domination B is the purplish circle, whiter circle near the bunker. Now some people on the green spawn team or the rangers team, I'm not sure which one it is to be honest, but anyways some people on the other team might be running marathon lightweight with UMPs and whatever and whatnot so the problem is if they get to the greenish purplish circles first then you're gonna have a hard time trying to capture B because they're probably gonna be lobbing semtex, frags, grenades, whatever or even noob tubes which is like the worst part so the best part is to counter that instead of going for B right off the bat even though I've drawn it your route should definitely start to make sure that you gain control of the entire poppy fields area before you start taking B. Now, unless you guys have Marathon Light when you've got like your entire team on B, then yeah, definitely go for it. It's just the shack area is just going to be the most dangerous part of that route. Now, moving on to the other route from your spawn to C domination, it's pretty much the basic route. Just go up the cliff side and just around the rock until you hit C. Now the whitish purplish circle that you've seen near the rocks near the cave area is pretty much your danger spot as well. Now if the other team can get to there pretty quickly then you're gonna have some troubles. Now I suggest you wait a second before you capture C if you get there first because people might be ready right there waiting for you to capture it and they'll start lobbing frags or whatever. So what you want to do is probably want to clear out the area before you start taking C. The only thing that is a problem with the entire operation on the spawn side that you are on as I'm speaking is that you don't have a definite flag captured like the Rangers would on A domination. Like they've got the A flag right there ready to go. They've taken the lead. But once you start owning the areas and taking control of the situations, then you can take C and B and there you go you've got the two flags ready to spawn trap at A. Now here what we're looking at is pretty much the hot spots and the safe spots to pretty much maneuver your way around the map. Now as you can see I've named all the hot spots in red where usually most of the action will take place. Now I've labeled the two bunkers, the poppy fields, and the cliffside overlooking the crashed AC-130 as the hot spots. And that's where most of the long range action is going to be taking place. Now I labeled in green as pretty much the danger zones. That's where most of the, oh my gosh, what the heck just happened, moments will take place. Like if you turn a corner or new tubes happen, things like that where you don't know what's going to happen next. Now the blue circles you see here are the places that I've labeled as the most safest parts of this map. Now the cave you would think might be one of the safer parts, but it's actually not because it's overlooked by the crashed AC-130 and the bunker that's closest to the poppy fields. Now I have labeled the poppy fields as a safe spot, but that's only if you guys or your team has pretty much good control of that area. I also have labeled the A spawn as a safe spot, but that's not always the case because sometimes if you're spawn trapped there, then you're screwed because there's only one spawn point there. But that doesn't happen too often, so it's pretty safe, usually. Now the other two areas are basically spawn areas where usually you can take good control and defense of, but they are irrelevant to the positions of the actual objective in domination. So that wraps up the map control analysis on Afghan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think, what I did right, what I did wrong. And please let me know what you think. If you want to see another one, then I'll definitely post another one. But if you guys don't say anything, then I'm probably not going to post another one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked the video because I put a lot of work into it. And please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, take care.